Before you allow and block traffic by application, it is advisable to block traffic from IP addresses that Palo Alto Networks and trusted third-party sources have proven to be malicious. The security rule will ensure that your network is always protected against the IP addresses from the Palo Alto Network's malicious IP address feeds and other feeds, which are compiled and dynamically updated based on the latest threat intelligence. Ensure the security rule is logging at session end and a log forwarding profile is applied to track activity. This is the first step in the BPA Plus wizard. You have been redirected here by either clicking the button in the BPA report or from the Get Help section. The first step in the process is to select Browse to upload your tech support file. Navigate to the tech support file and click Open. Now that the tech support file has been successfully uploaded, we can continue to the next step in the process. The next screen that displays is just to let you know that you need to set up the PanOS CLI for BPA+. This is how BPA+, remediates your issue. Click Next. The next step is Select Failed Checks. For this demo, we're going to select the malicious IP address feed inbound and click Next. At the very top, you'll see a message, please copy and execute the commands below to create log forwarding profiles. The BPA Plus wizard has determined you need to create a log forwarding profile. This step must be performed prior to continuing on with the BPA Plus wizard. I'm going to copy the commands to the clipboard. Now we'll switch over to the firewall CLI to enter the commands. Once we log in, simply paste the commands we got from the BPA Plus wizard. And now we'll go back to the BPA wizard and continue. This log forwarding profile will be used at the commands at the end to remediate the issue. At the very top you can see, please review the best practice settings and select the desired option for your config. And a message down here tells you that traffic from known malicious IP addresses to be blocked in inbound direction. As we can see, the best practice setting is selected. And to the right we can see the security rules section. This particular rule has a security name, a description, and a bunch of other parameters associated with it. Notice all of them are highlighted in blue. This means this is a brand new rule that's being created. There is no existing rule. To verify this, we can go back to check existing settings, and notice it says you don't have any existing settings. It also has a message at the top, are you sure you want to deselect the best practice settings for this profile? We advise against this and will make your system less secure. Let's go ahead and select the best practice settings again and click Next. At the very top you can see, please review your changes before execution. Your existing configuration will be updated once the PanOS set commands are executed. The next section is Generate Set Commands. There's a Copy All Commands button here. This is helpful if you're remediating multiple best practice failed checks, in which case you can copy all the commands to remediate all of those. You can see the important information about commands. This has to do with a certain limitation for terminal emulators and command line interface. We recommend limiting the number of lines copied to 20 at a time. There's also a note up here about configuration changes will not take effect until after a successful commit. Please be sure to follow your company's policy with respect to making configuration changes. Next we'll look at the commands. The first command puts the firewall into configuration mode. The second command creates a malicious IP-inbound rule and sets a description. The next several commands set the parameters in the appropriate tabs for the security policy rule. For general, source, destination, application, service URL category, actions, and usage, the settings are necessary to comply with best practices. This command sets the log setting to the basic log forwarding profile we created previously. The next command sets the log at session end to yes. And this command puts the malicious IP inbound rule at the top. The next command exits the configuration mode. Now we'll go ahead and copy the commands and enter them on the firewall.
and we'll paste the commands into the CLI. And it looks like there's no error messages, so I think we're good. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to go ahead and execute a commit operation. Configuration committed successfully. Now we'll check the firewall. We'll navigate to policies. And notice the malicious IP inbound rule here. Now notice it's also at the top, which is one of the commands from the CLI we entered. So let's click the rule and we can see our name. We can see the description that was entered. We can look at the source. We set it to any. Our source address is Palo Alto Network's known malicious IP addresses. These are all the parameters we set when we entered the commands at the CLI. Under the Actions tab, there is an action of Deny, and Log It Session N is selected. This concludes the demo.